this video, we'll demonstrate how Avalor can be used to allow you to customize the severity scoring model that you use for your findings across all of your source systems. So to start, we'll click on settings and go to score. And here you can see the current configuration. And we like to refer to Avalor as a glass box because we not only allow you to see what the current configuration is, unlike a black box model, but we also allow you to adjust it or extend it. Let's look at what we have here. So first of all, we have the base scoring factors, such as CVSS, which is an open industry standard for assessing the severity of vulnerabilities. We have EPSS, which is another open industry standard for assessing the likelihood of an exploit in the wild. Then we have the original severity score, which is that score that's coming in from your source system, such as Qualys or Rapid7 or Wiz, any, any system that's reporting a vulnerability or a finding of any kind. And in, for any of these, you can easily adjust it if you don't want this to be 30%. For example, you can just change it to 5%, and just like that, you can adjust the model. But where it really gets valuable is when you come to enriching the scoring based on additional factors that you have for your specific environment. So as you can see here, we have two columns. We have risk factors on the left and mitigating factors on the right. So risk factors are things that will cause the severity score to increase if it's true, whereas mitigating factors are things that will cause the score to decrease. So you can see there's a variety of examples here, such as if an asset is open to the web, if it has PII, etc. And then there's things that would decrease the risk as well. The model is designed such that you may not have telemetry for all of these aspects for any given asset. And that's why you can see what's considered like an oversubscription here, where you have 170% going down to 65%. The first 35% was used by the base factors. So that leaves us 65% left. And so whatever information we have here will ultimately be prorated properly to account for 65%. So in this way, you can not only utilize this to personalize it to your specific needs, but you can also add a factor if needed using the add factor button. So for example, if you wanted to leverage an existing data point that is not currently shown here, you can simply click the add factor button you can specify what the field is in the data model that contains that information, and then you're good to go. So this platform allows for a very easy method for personalizing the scoring model to fit your organization's needs.